Hello and welcome everyone to the new episode of The Billion Stories. Here are the 10 important facts about boxing legend Muhammad Ali. Number 1. Ali's real name was Cassius Clay. His father was Cassius Marcellus Clay Sr., a prominent Southern white man and abolitionist. He also worked with Abraham Lincoln in the fight to end slavery. Number 2. The main reason Ali turned to boxing was theft. In 1954, a young man named Cassius Clay's bicycle was stolen outside the Columbia Auditorium. Ali told a police officer that his bicycle had been stolen and he was going to beat the thief. The policeman introduced Ali to boxing and advised him to join the local boxing community center. That's how Ali got into boxing. Number 3. On October 29, 1960, Ali defeated Tunney Hunsaker to win his first professional match. Hunsaker was the head of the Fayetteville Police Force in West Virginia. After six rounds, Ali won by a unanimous decision. Number 4. Mike Tyson's revenge for Ali may not be known to many. Mike Tyson watched Ali's last match. Tyson could not bear Ali's big defeat to Larry Holmes in that match. Tyson was upset and told Ali, I will grow up and bring him back for you. Seven years later, Tyson decided to fight Holmes, and Ali, who had retired from boxing, stepped into the ring and reminded of Tyson's promise. In the fourth round of that match, Tyson eliminated Holmes and avenged Ali. Number 5. Ali practiced his pace by dodging rocks. Ali's younger brother Rudy says, Ali asked me to stone him. I thought he was crazy. But no matter how much I threw, I could not hold on to him. He was able to evacuate very quickly all the time. It was this training that enabled Ali to consistently evade the punches of his opponents. Number 6. Ali won gold in boxing in the light heavyweight division at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome. But, as he wrote in his 1975 autobiography, The Greatest, My Own Story, he threw his medal into the Ohio River in frustration at the racial hatred he experienced in his native Louisville, Kentucky. At the opening ceremony of the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, he received another medal to replace the Olympic medal he had lost when he lit the Olympic cauldron. Number 7. The legendary fight between Sonny Liston and Muhammad Ali made not only Ali but also his gloves famous. Ali's gloves earned him more than he earned after the fight with Liston. Ali's victory over Liston earned him about $630,000. But, 50 years later, his gloves sold for $836,000. Number 8. When Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait in 1990, 2,000 foreigners were taken hostage. Ali flew to Baghdad to meet with the Iraqi leader. 50 minutes later, his talks led to the release of 15 American prisoners. Number 9. He was expected to lose his first world title fight. When Cassius Clay defeated Sonny Liston in February 1964, it caused great unrest. Ali, 22, was given only one-seventh of chances after losing to former champion Floyd Patterson in a knockout. But what happened next is history. Number 10. Ali's Olympic gold did not transcend racism. Ali entered a restaurant in Kentucky wearing the gold medal he had won in Rome around his neck. The maid said to him, Sorry, we do not serve Negroes. Ali replied, It's okay. I do not eat them either. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get videos like this. Thanks for watching.